y'all, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. A quick and easy summer look for those of you who are on the go and don't have much time to put your face on for the day. I'm also gonna be using a lot of new items that I got at Ulta yesterday. It's been almost a month since I've been to Ulta, so I definitely filled up on stuff. So I'm gonna be using all the stuff that I got at Ulta in today's video. Before we get going with the video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my videos I post during the week. And if you wanna know how I got this look and how to achieve it for yourself, just keep on watching. So I've already moisturized with this. And then my under eye, I moisturize with this. It's Potent by Benefit. So I'm gonna prime my eyes really quick using Put a Lid on It by The Balm. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm just gonna put that over the primer. I feel like it helps set a nice base. Use Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Okay, so this I just recently discovered. I got it like a few months ago, but I just never use it. It's Bye Bye Pores, and it's not translucent. It's by It Cosmetics, of course. And it's a tinted skin blurring finishing powder. And it was just too dark for my skin tone to use as a finishing powder. So I just recently started doing this a few days ago and I just love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a Real Techniques um, setting brush. So I put a little bit in a lid like so, and I'm just gonna put it on my brush, but I'm just gonna tap the excess off. Then I'm just gonna put it on my lid as a base. So I'm just gonna set that concealer, or set the primer, excuse me, set the primer with this. And you already have your transition started, which is super cool. That is the Tinted Skin Blurring Finishing Powder. So since this is like a summer glow easy type of look, I'm gonna use very minimal eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna be using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. And I'm gonna be going in with the shade Nudie to um, focus that on the crease. And then I'll probably just end up going with the shade Cashmere Bunny for the outer V and then slightly work it into my crease as well. So I'm just gonna be using the It Cosme Cosmetics, <laughs> the NYX Fluffy Brush. And I'm just gonna go in with Nudie. On with the exciting part. So today I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Glitter Balm palette. And I kept my receipt just to tell y'all like the prices and whatnot. So this Glitter Balm palette was 45 bucks. First, let's take a minute to appreciate the packaging. I love the way the glitter, the glitter moves in this palette. Anyways, there are the colors. I'm not gonna go through like swatches like I normally do. I'm going to be using this color right here. It's Fairy Dust to still keep it natural because we're just going for an easy summer look. And then, but first I'm gonna put that white base on my lid. So I'm gonna go back in with the Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna use that white base. It's just called Brightening Base. Next, we'll go in with Fairy Dust. I'm gonna be using my Smashbox Primer Water and my go-to brush by Vasanti Flat Ended Pal Brush. Spray the brush like so. So it picked up great on the brush using the Smashbox Primer Water. So I'm just gonna put that on the lid. So that's dipping into it once. If I was going for a different look today, I'd be kind of disappointed, but since I'm going for just a natural look, I'm really liking the pigment. But in the future, I am gonna try glitter glue because this is definitely what that palette's about. You have to use the glitter glue and then get that more of a vibrant look. Comment down below if you want me to do like a tutorial or a look using this palette with the glitter glue. Okay, n sorry, I have to go back in with the uh, Natural Eyes by Too Faced because I forgot to do the Cashmere Bunny shade. Again, Cashmere Bunny. And I'm gonna very lightly put that in my V and draw it towards the crease, very lightly. Like so, and I'll blend it too. I'll just go in with my crown brush. I'm just gonna blend super lightly around the edges. All right, so onto the face. I was gonna be using the Becca First Light Priming Filter for a primer today, but I forgot that I got this. How can I forget? I'm, I was so excited when I bought it yesterday to start filming this video and use it. So it is the 3-in-1 Hangover Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray by Too Faced. So since this is a primer and a setting spray, I'm gonna use it for both today, primer and setting spray. Apply to clean skin before makeup, apply after makeup to keep it in place all day. Shake well. Okay, spray. Someone must have used this bottle because it sprayed within the first effing spray. That makes me mad. 
Okay, it smells like coconut, so if you don't like coconut, you're not gonna like this. But I love coconut, and I can literally drink this. Just kidding. But yeah, I like it. Ooh, feels really refreshing as well. I'm gonna be using the Baradol foundation in the shade Porcelain by Pure Cosmetics. And I'm gonna be using this to blend it in. Those of you who have been on my channel since day one know that I use a brush to blend my foundation in, so I'm interested to kind of switch it up a bit and use a beauty blender. And this is the Beauty Blender by Pure Cosmetics. Got it in an Ipsy offer. Next, Maybelline has had this for a long time, even when I was in high school. So I got this, it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Concealer. So I'm gonna try this today. Shoot, should have said this before I demolished it. It's in the shade Fair. Also, it was $8.99. Twist it like so. I remember I just used to love this product. Okay, so I kinda got a lot on the fluffy thing. I like a lot of concealer because I do have dark circles under my eyes. So no matter how much I put on, Oh my gosh, okay, that is a lot, way too much. Okay, that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna be going in with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender now and I'm just gonna blend that out. And then the excess to highlight the T-zone. Love this. I haven't used the Age Rewind line in a lot. I've been out of high school for eight years. Yeah, that's how long it's been since I've used any age rewind stuff. So still as good as I remember it. So I really like this. Next is a product that I'm so excited for. It's all over YouTube. Everybody rants and raves about it. I didn't want to get it because I'm obsessed with um, It Cosmetics translucent powder, but I had to get it because everybody on YouTube is talking about how great this setting powder is. So it's the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. So it just says, coconut water to aid in delicately. Our silky lightweight powder sets makeup for longer wear while providing a veil of perfecting luminosity for a finish so natural they'll think you were born this way. So packaging looks like so. I'm sure y'all have already seen it. There's a little heart. So it looks a little, looks like there's a little bit of a tint to it. So I'm just going to take the end of the Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm just going to put it under the eye and we're gonna set the eye. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna bake. People normally do. I'm not a big baking person, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it under my eye and then I'm just gonna use a brush and wipe it away. Okay, I can already feel it firming up. Then I'm gonna get a brush and wipe it away. I'm just gonna be using this crown brush. There's no name, but it's like this. It's kind of like a powder brush, like so. I love it. it. Literally makes my face look flawless. So next, oh, sorry, before going on to the next product, the Too Faced powder was $32. You know, that's actually not too bad for a high-end product. And especially for the work that it did, that's a great price. So my next item, it's not a new item, but it's new for me. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's the Skinny Brow Pencil Brow Wiz in the shade Blonde. Those of you, again, who have been on my channel since day one know that I use nothing but It Cosmetics for most of my brow. So I'm interested to try this out. There's the spoolie, then there's the applicator on the end. I'm sure everyone and their mom has this, but I don't. This is my first time using this, and I've heard great great things about it, so that's why I picked it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the Anastasia Clear um, Brow Gel and I'm gonna brush my brows up. Those of you who don't have the Brow Wiz, I'm probably the only one in the world that does not have it. This was $21. Okay, so far, I'm liking the shade. Okay, so that's it for that eye. I honestly thought I was gonna be like, oh my gosh, I love this, but it's average for me. I'm sorry, y'all. So I'm just gonna do the other brow really quick and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm done with that. I'm just gonna set the brows with the clear brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm sorry, I wish I could be one of those very happy people with the Anastasia brow wiz, but I'm not, I'm not pleased. So I might be returning that. On to the next item. I got this Physicians Formula Blush and Bronzer Duo. I love the shade of the bronzer for my skin tone. This was $14.95. That's a good price for both of these combined. So we'll go in with the bronzer. <sighs> Smells like pina colada. 
and that's what it looks like. Super good shade for fair skin tones. Literally can't stop smelling it. Okay, this brush though, like really, it looks like a frog. I will not be using this. So I'm gonna be going in with the, it has no name, but it's by Ivy Wide Beauty. I usually use it for bronzer. And I am just gonna bronze my face. This is probably my new favorite bronzer. I love it. So next is the blush. So I'm gonna be going in with my blush brush by Abby Y Beauty. Tap the excess off. Before I set my face really quickly, I'm just gonna go in on the bottom lash line and just kinda put a little bit of brown right there. So I'm gonna go in with Nudie again and then I'll top it off with Cashmere Bunny. I'll use this brush by NYX. Tap the excess off. Okay, so that's good. I'll set my face using the Hangover 3-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. Shake it again, it's been a few minutes, and spray. So before going in with mascara, I'm just gonna use this, it's a highlighter pencil I got in my Ipsy bag like a year ago. It's by Chella, and I'm just gonna put it in my waterline because I'm not gonna be putting eyeliner on today. I wanna keep it nice and natural. So next is mascara. I got this from yesterday as well. It's called Total Tease by CoverGirl. It's in the shade black. And it was $8.99. So first I'll go in with the Clinique Lash Building Primer. Y'all, I forgot highlighter. Oh my god. Okay, so let's put the mascara on and then I'll do highlighter. Like how, how do I forget that? Like that's a sin. The wand is interesting. So it looks like so. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the comb side on the lashes because this side if I go like this way what is up cover girl what is up so I'm not gonna do too many coats because again I just want to keep it natural we'll probably do like a couple coats so that's one I like it let's do one more So I think I know why it's like this. This little pointy thing is for the bottom lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with this little pointy side for the bottom lashes. Okay, highlight, cannot forget highlight. So I'm gonna go in with these Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops. That's what it looks like. I got it in an Ipsy offer and I'm just gonna sh finish shaking it. And Put a few drops. I'm just gonna use my ring finger and just tap it in. Yeah, I just got this a few days ago. I don't know if I like it. There's like, like patches. So F that. This is the Luna highlighter by Luna. And I got this in the same Ipsy offer as well. So beautiful and shiny. So let's go in with that. So I'm just gonna be using the fan brush by Royal Ang Lang Nickel, and I'm just gonna swish it in there like so. Yes. I love it. Last but not least for my Ulta purchase yesterday, I got one of the new Too Faced Melted Latex Lippies. This one's in the shade Hopeless Romantic. It's kind of like a nudish color. I will show you. So I totally did not realize the patches were that bad. I am annoyed right now, but I just thought I'd let you know that I did not notice the patches on camera as much as I did off camera. So ignore the patches, sorry. But what I did do off camera, I went in with concealer and then put highlight a little bit over it so I can try to get rid of the patches as much as I can. And it looks just like their packaging for their matte lipsticks as well. Like, there we go, nice nude color. I just love how creamy it is. It literally feels like it will last all day. I can already tell it's gonna last all day. Just the texture and everything is just perfect. 
So what I'm gonna do really quick is I am just gonna put my outfit of the day on and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So one thing I did fail to mention was the price for that Too Faced latex. It was $21. So I hate these drops before I go in with what I'm fixing to say. I hate these drops. I had to go back in with some more highlight just to cover up patches. Like whenever I was rubbing it in with my finger, it left patches. I don't recommend these drops unless y'all know of any other way to apply it. So that completes today's video. I hope y'all liked it. Other than those drops and the Anastasia brow pencil, I really liked everything else that I received, whether it was in an Ipsy offer or the stuff I got from Ulta yesterday. If you did like this video and want to see more tutorials like this in the future, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next video. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for an easy slum slummer. My husband just left and the dogs are crying, so excuse me. Anybody else, when they read this, get that Lady Gaga song stuck in their head? Okay, sorry. It smells like a hotel.